Okay, we're recording. Hello, Dream Team. It is the 8th of June already. We have one week under our belt and we are in the second. Um, I think some of you were probably on here last night or you maybe caught the recap or replay, I'm sorry, of the power planning. And I realized after I got done last night with the power planning, I didn't talk at all about double, triple or the $25. I don't know. I got totally sidetracked. I was completely flustered last night prior to getting on the Zoom and apparently carried over into the Zoom. So anyway, um, tonight I want to make sure you guys know that you have, you have four days left to hit your double, triple. Um, and I, I, obviously we are excited for double, but you guys triple is totally the way to go. There's no reason to stop at double. Um, even if it's the nth hour that this is like the best promo that they off like that they offer us. And you're in total control over what you choose to give back or, or not give back. So don't let double triple slip past you. Make sure you're reaching out to everybody. Again, like I said last night in the uh, power planning, when you're reaching out, don't just dive into someone's inbox and be like, hey, we've got a deal. Hey, we've got a deal. Ask them what's going on in their life. Find out what's been happening in the last week or two weeks or two months or six months, and then see how your deal could be a solution to their problem. Um, there's a lot of people going back to work for the first time in a long time. And they, as much as people want to go back to work, it's super stressful to get fired back up at your job again. Um, and some people didn't want to go back to work. <laughs> And some people are still home. So there's just a whole lot of uncertainty and weirdness and stress. Um, but like I always say, you guys can really, you can help people with that. So make sure you're connecting your product, your service, all that stuff to them. And then that will become more like they're going to think of you more than just the girl that bugs them for a deal. Um, okay. So hopefully you guys are also working on the free customer accounts with the $25. That's a major discount for people. Um, you know, some people are like, well, it's only 25 bucks. Well, 25 bucks goes pretty far, especially with Lavelle. And then there is nothing stopping you from adding to that. You could offer up matching credits. You could offer up um, a free something. And, when, and like, let's say you have a box of blast on your shelf and you've got four of them. You could offer somebody a couple of free blasts to go with their order. So they could save $25 and get a gift with purchase. And that could be from you. It doesn't always have to be a ton of money or a ton of product. It could just be, it's the thought that counts, I guess, as cheesy as that sounds, it's the thought that counts. So take what the company's offering you and make it even sweeter on your end of the deal. Like let people know that you can totally help them. And obviously we like to keep things legit around here, but remember if you have somebody who's maybe already a customer, maybe they have a spouse, maybe they have a kid, there could be someone else in their household that they could order under or for or whatever you want to call it. Um, but also remember, if you are doing that, make sure that you stack the new customer. I'm sorry, I have a hair or something on me. Make sure you stack the new customer under the original because that would count as one referral for the month and then they could go get a second one and bam, they have. So not only would they get the discount the first month, but they would get free thrive the next month. So be creative. Um, whenever we get something from corporate, it's a gift. And then you have to remember at all times, this is your business. You're running your own company. You do what you're comfortable with. I encourage you to look at your last two paychecks, take half of that dollar amount and use it to build your business. So if you made 30 bucks, make sure you're taking 15 and putting it towards a new customer somehow. If you made a hundred bucks, make sure you take $50 and put it towards a new customer somehow. And again, it could be offering a rebate. It could be offering free product. It could be offering a gift with purchase. I mean, hell, go to TJ Maxx and get some blender bottles and give somebody a free blender bottle with their purchase. Like it's just, I mean, you guys know when you go on bed, bath and, or what is it? Bath and body works and they free for this, or they throw a free little tiny hand sanitizer at you, people lose their minds and it's not costing them very much money, but it makes you excited to have something. So put yourself in the customer's position, but then make sure you put yourself back in the business owner's position. And remember, this is a business. If you want to get paid like a business, you got to treat it like a business. And the money you guys make on your commission checks are commission. They do not have taxes taken out of them. So unless you want to pay all that money back, you have got to use that money to build your business. Um, okay. So I wanted to, we have a lot of people with not like not their real faces on here. There's TJ in his car. Um, I just wanted to connect with you guys tonight. I feel like on Sunday nights I do a lot of talking. And then again, on Monday nights I do a lot of talking. 
Um, I want to know, and you guys can put it in the chat, you can un unmute, you can whatever the heck you feel comfortable with. I want to know what you are struggling with or what you have been trying this week. Like, um, if you look at our numbers, there's clearly no doubt in my mind that people are working. And so I want to know, what are you doing? What, what did you do last week that was different that worked? What did you try this week that failed? Like, let's talk about what we're actually doing as, as individuals on a team to grow these numbers. Um, I, I will, I will, hmm, and let someone start because, you know, I could just start talking forever. So I'm going to unmute people if you don't start volunteering. Oh, Laura. And it won't let me unmute you. So Lori, if you, there you go. You're, you're unmuted. Um, for me, I've just, I've been reaching out to all my customers and trying to get them to thrive for free, get their referrals. So that's where all my pat, my new customers are, have been referrals. So, so how, when you're approaching your existing customer, what are you saying? How are you going about this? Oh, I haven't like, I just say, Hey, let's get you thriving for free next month. You know, do you know somebody that needs more energy? Um, you know, I mean, it just kind of depends on what they're, why they're thriving. I kind of, you know, try to, you know, right. And from there, are you having them put you in three-way chats or are they posting for you? Like, what's the next step for them? It depends. I mean, I have one who, um, she says she's going to post. <laughs> she never does. Mm -hmm. So, and then when I, you know, and I don't bug her. I mean, like once a month, once or twice a month, I reach out. Of course, you know, about her auto ship. I always ask if yeah. she wants to, you know, if she wants a different flavor and all that stuff. Um, but I said, hey, now, don't forget, I want to get you thriving for free. She goes, I know one of these days I'm going to post something. She's not a big Facebook user. I think she stalks a lot in a good way. You know, I think she, right. she, she gets on there and looks, but she doesn't necessarily post a whole lot. Mm -hmm. um, but I make sure that when she does post, I always comment. She lives in Colorado. So she always has such beautiful pictures, hiking and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I just want her to know that I'm, I'm paying attention. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it's, I'm just I'm reaching out to my customers and saying, let's, let's get connected with somebody. Mm -hmm. So you guys, Laura is a prime example of, you know, like sometimes when somebody's coming into the business for the first time and you're like, Oh, like, oh, I'm just going to call her out. Lacey, Lacey's just signing people up left and right. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. She's new. This is all new. This is new to her friends. This is new to her circle. This is new. If you look at someone like Laura, she's coming up on her five year mark. So unless she, moves or gets a new job or does something drastically different to get into a new circle, she has to take her existing circle and grow it. And mm -hmm. so I think a lot of people are like, oh, but you know, this $25 is good, but it's already my customer. Okay. That customer now can go help two friends start thriving. Those friends can save money and that customer can now be thriving for free. So you have to think outside of your circle and your bubble and you have to start growing. It's, um, I mean, it's a classic, uh, I don't know, it's a quote and I always screw these up, but it's not who you know, it's who you know who knows, right? Or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and, and so know. you have to think that way. You have to reach out to people who love their thrive. And sometimes I have even had success reaching out to someone who maybe thrived and then quit. Didn't mean they didn't love their thrive. They just stopped for some reason. And sometimes I would just reach out and say, hey, I'm running a promo and I know you've stopped thriving, but do you know anybody that's looking to feel better? And a lot of times they'll get back in. Because they'll be like, well, what's the promo? What's the deal? Well, hell, I don't know. I'm making it up. But if they bite my hook or whatever you call it, I'm like, well, I will pull up. What do I have credits? Do I have anything on my shelf? What can I do? I don't know. I'll figure something out, right? But if you don't cast the line, you're, you don't know who's biting. So um, yeah, thank you for that, Laura, very much. Who else wants to chime in? What else? What's uh, somebody doing? Somebody tried something? I'm going to call on Sam. Are you ready to speak, Sam? Because I'm calling you out. Um, oh, well, let me unmute you. I want you to talk really quickly or I have long you want. You have stepped. So I know everyone watches the numbers and they're like, oh my gosh, this team, it's Sam's team is just blowing up and blowing up. But what you guys can't see if you're not on her team is that Sam is not only, her team is not only churning out numbers, Samantha has stepped deep into the leadership role and she is taking it upon herself to teach her team to lead her team. So talk to the other girls on the screen and TJ, sorry, it's always girls and TJ. Um, talk to everyone else on the team about how it is helping you. So you're doing your team huddles. You have an entire series you're doing right now with your team um, where you have different people coming on to talk about different. So talk about that and, and A, why you started doing it and B, what you've seen it doing for your team. Okay. So for me, I noticed my 
my team group felt my team group can you see me okay my yep. phone just told me i have 20 percent battery left i hope it doesn't cut me off okay um i felt like my team group page like my facebook group was all nothing but copy and paste of calls and zooms and recordings and stuff oh snap we can't hear you now oh uh, now i can oh geez. can you hear me sort of kind of just keep going It'll oh my god! I, I don't. I want you to be able to hear oh, me. I can hear you perfect when you turn your screen off for some reason. I don't know if it's. I just turned my Wi-Fi back on. Okay. Okay. You're good now. Okay. Okay. So my team page was nothing but copy paste of Zooms calls, like whatever's being shared on every other page is what my group was, mm -hmm. and I felt like there was no sense of community, like there was no family there. It felt like. Um, I love the dream team page so much. And like the group there is so awesome because for me personally, I learned from everyone here, Sonia, Laura, Sandra, you, like every other leader that's not on my team. So I always was just copy and pasting. So I would bring them to the dream page, dream team page, which was great, except I didn't have that sense of community in my own page also. So like the girls in my group and TJ, girls and TJ in my group, um, we're not afraid to hurt each other's feelings, I want to say almost. Like we say bad words and nobody gets offended. Okay, like not nothing wrong with people who do get offended by them. I try and say not say bad words. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but it's just our attitude. It's kind of like um, in your face and like shit or get off the pot like you like to say mm -hmm. and that's my kind of leadership mm -hmm. that I'm attracted to and so I feel like I should be doing more of that in my team page so I did start something called cultivating leadership I don't know where this came from I kind of brainstormed a little bit here and there here and there to try and find a name for whatever it is the concept behind it and it just came to me um I just want to have different leaders from the team sharing all week long for the whole month of June. Um, I do something called product spotlight every single day for the last like five weeks now. Every single day at 5 a.m. my time, 8 a.m. your time, I have a schedule for a different product to come out on our group page and we talk about what it is, how do you use it, has it worked for you, do you have a graphic, like whatever it is, every day there's a different one, so that if in the future somebody wants to come back and ask about Thrive Cafe, does anybody use it, and what do you use it for, and how do you mix it, it's already there, mm -hmm. and then we've created a photo album for each product, with each graphic that people have shared, so we're sharing with each other the graphics that we have, and it's kind of more organized. Um, but aside from that, like, I feel like that's really helped me a lot in our whole team because everyone's contributing and it's not just me anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like I'm just copy and pasting from other groups, which I still do to keep them informed. But when it comes to us learning and growing, because there is so many new people coming on, I'm just trying to constantly get new information. So I have different leaders coming on. I have it all set up. So are brand new so we've been here for a while and every friday i have somebody that's a surprise guest and to be completely honest with you guys i'm just winging it okay i don't have a plan i'm just winging it i'm just coming up with different things that have helped me that i think that would help them too um because i don't want it to get stale and i don't want my team to forget that they have a whole bunch of leaders that love them and we're here to help them and i also don't want people to feel like they can't ask questions because nobody else does. Right. I want people to feel comfortable asking questions because there's always people in here asking questions, so I'm gonna get in here and ask mine. I want that sort of community to be in my group. So yeah. that's what I've been doing with my group. Other than that, um, I love the double, triple promotion because they haven't done it in a long time, and it seems like for a while they did it so much that I felt like I was constantly using it to where people would just wait for it to come back around and they didn't do it for a long time. So I'm so happy they did that because now 
Um, I don't know if Neveline is still on here live or not, but she's one example. Um, I reached out to all my level ones. I told them about it and actually had some people come back not only to use the products, but actually to make it a business, which has been huge, especially, you know, kind of like Laura, like we've been here and Tammy for almost five years. So it's hard. It's so hard to get your PPA up and to find new people, but it's okay if my PPA is low, if I'm bringing people back because it's a whole new environment now. We have a whole new different vibe around here. So it's just different and better. Yeah. So those of you, the reason I wanted her to share that, those of you that have teams, whether, and I, when I say this every time, whether there's two of you on your team or 200 on your team, they need to know who you are. Also, if you, if you listen to some of the stuff that Sam's talking about, a product spotlight, she's got leaderships uh, or leaders doing live videos. Well, the beauty of a live video is it's stored on her team page forever. So oftentimes you guys will send me a question and what do I do? I tag you in a video. I tag you in a post. I copy the YouTube link to a video. Yes, it's a lot right now that she's doing, um, she's being organized about it. It's just, you know, something every day. So it definitely takes, you know, she has to work on her business, but then she's feeding into her team. So like she said, her team is learning who she is. They're learning her style, but she's also building up a wealth of knowledge for her team that can be duplicated because now that all those videos exist, when those new team members come in, you can tag them in those posts. So it's, it's, it's like how I think of all of our Zooms and all the lives that I used to do on Dream Team. They're all there for everybody at any time. They can be copied and pasted. They can be tagged. You can do whatever. Um, but like she said, it's really important for you to have community because here, shocker, not everyone's going to like me that you bring into this business. <laughs> um, I'm not everyone's cup of tea. And that's okay because I am who I am and who I bring in, they were some, we were attracted together somehow. So you have to make sure that you are doing stuff for your team. And I know a lot of people are like, but nobody's ever on my team page or I try to zoom and nobody gets on. It does not matter. I did Facebook lives for a long time and nobody got on. When we first started these zooms, there was like three of us. So you have to start somewhere, but I want you to understand that whatever you do can be duplicated. And that's what you want to make sure you have available to your team information, training. And like she said, keeping it fresh because obviously I'm going to copy and paste some stuff too that all the other team pages are going to have because it just needs to be in there. But I think it's, I mean, you guys all know the more we've gotten to do these zooms, the tighter we've gotten as a team, the more we've done shout outs, the tighter we've gotten as a team. Sam says consistency is so important. Schedule your posts. Yeah. For those of you that do have actual team pages, you can schedule your posts. You can go on tonight and get your post ready and have it post tomorrow. Um, for those of you that just have team chats, cause maybe your teams are smaller you could easily go into the notes section on your phone and create your post and have it ready and then just set a timer tomorrow and copy and paste it over. So don't let it hold you back if you don't have a team page yet, but pour into the people who are on your team. If the people said yes to you and they're on your team, help them. Can you help everyone individually all day long? No, um, not if you want to grow. So things like that that exist that you can tag and you can copy and you can link to that's a great way to set your team up for massive growth with you not having to be present 24 seven. Sam has a full-time job. It's not like she's just sitting at home with her team, right? So use these tricks to help um, the dogs gonna start burning. Okay, who else is like, and I want to give a shout out really quick and I know she's in Texas on vacation, but Sandra has been doing um, Zooms with her team and same thing. Sometimes it's just Sandra, sometimes it's a few people, but she's been doing them and they are recorded and they are in her team page now. So she is building that, that base of knowledge for people to refer to. So um, who is having, Olivia, you hit double, triple last night. I can't unmute you. I don't know why I've lost the ability to do this, but um, what did you do? Who'd you talk to? What happened? Your posts lately are amazing, by the way. Oh, thanks. I got a tripod and a ring light, so I feel oh, oh, <laughs> Moving on up. Um, the, I've reached out to a few people and I still have a few people on the fence about doing it, but one of the girls that I have, Sam, that I've actually have introduced to our team page, she's actually my cousin and her, um, 
it's her husband is my uncle and he is the one that he gives me shit for advertising a lot. Like he's, oh, I remember him. Yeah. He's an asshole. But <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so she signed up and she belongs to him. He has been so mean to you. That her husband is, is his son. Like she's, that she's married to my cousin. That is still hilarious. Yeah. I love it. So I've told her that I was like, you're going to get a lot of shit, but just ignore him. I just block him from my post because yeah, do it anyway. Um, but she, you know, I asked her first and she, um, couldn't do it yet, but she was more than happy to still like start promoting the, just like she told you to be able to get her thrive for free. But, um, other than that, one of the other girls that the first one, it's the first one that I got. Yeah. She, um, I used to work with her a few years ago and I've reached out to her plenty of times before and she just, I, I don't even really think she ever replied, but she saw the deal. I put it in my stories and that's where she replied to me about it. And she went for it. She's like, I'm really wanting to lose weight. She's a dental assistant. So she was off work all this time and she had gained a lot of weight and she yep. wants, you know, to lose it. So that's, She's more so in it for the deal right now. That's okay. But so I want you guys to listen to what she said. That girl responded to the story. She's never really responded to anything else. When people are in your stories, and if you really pay attention when you're in people's stories, you probably feel this way too without realizing it. You feel like you're getting the inside scoop. You feel like you're finding out what someone's doing or the kind of the background. Because like I may make two or three posts on Facebook during the day and they might be, what is it? Where's, I got it written right here. I'm inspiring, informing, and entertaining people, right? But if you follow my stories, I'm telling you straight up what we're doing, where we've been, what's going on. You know, I will throw in things about a five-day trial. I will throw in things about running a, a deal of some sort. But, it, and so it just makes it a little bit more private. Plus they know, I I don't know that I've ever really had, I mean, I'm sure I've had one or two, but if I openly post about a five-day trial, most people won't comment because they don't want other people to see it. And yes, they could click the message button, but it's just like an extra step to them. Whereas if they're in your story and they just have to respond to the story, whether they realize it or not, they're just sending you a message. And I get so much more interaction from my stories about actual product and actual purchasing than I do with my posts. So keep that in mind. If you're in your stories, let them see your face, let them hear your voice, and let them get really, you got to like, know, and trust, right? We know this. Someone has to like you, know you, and trust you. And just because somebody likes you and knows you does not mean they trust you yet. They might need to see, I mean, I, I've had more people respond to me since I showed them my bed head and the crazy dog barking in the background than ever before. So, um, put your face out there, put your words out there and use your stories because that's, people are watching. I mean, if you go through it like 24 hours later and look at your story before it goes away, there's a lot of people watching. Um, so yes, I love that, Olivia. Thank you. Uh, Sonia says, I think my girls were hanging low this morning. Oh, those girls. I, I was like, what, your girls? Oh my God, it's hilarious. Well, at least they weren't hanging out, right? They can hang low. Just don't let them hang out. All right. Uh, Courtney Summers, I'm going to unmute you. I, again, I lied because I can't do it. A, I need to know what happened in the Instant Pot. And B, how's it feel to be a 12K yet again this week? Well, first of all, um, I wasn't lying when I said white claws were for dinner. Um, awesome. So me and this Instapot, we're, the whole Instapot world, we're about to go around. Okay. Like, I cannot even. I don't know. I was making um, chicken, um, chicken with ranch, like seasoning on it and chicken broth. And I put everything in there like it told me to. And everything stuck to the bottom. Like there wasn't enough liquid in there. But that's what the recipe called for. So, yeah, whatever. It was fine. I saw it. Poor side bit. This has nothing to do with Thrive. Sometimes if your seal on your, your lid isn't completely tight, the steam will actually get out. That so could have happened have started too. with enough, but it might have escaped. Yeah. So, so anyway, tell us about being 12K. Yeah. Um, so 12K is amazing. I'm so excited to um, actually see that check come in yeah, tomorrow, girl. right? Yeah, tomorrow. girl. It's going to be my first one. I am going to be shouting out to the rooftops about that. Um, and I don't know. I, I feel like 
ever since that has happened, there's just been so much momentum going. Like we're on the eighth of the month and I'm already almost to 4K. And like before that there was, I mean, it was like the last minute of the month for me to make it to 4K. So there's just a lot of momentum going right now. I've added two new promoters to my team here and I feel like, well, I've added two and then I had one who left and has also come back. So I have three um, girls right now who are just doing amazing. Some are just getting started and learning. Um, but I, I have really good like vibes about them all. Um, and I just think this is kind of just like my time to go forward um, and go to the next, go on to the next rank um, and take, you know, those girls with me. And, you know, right now, it's one of those things that now that I've earned that, like I want to see them earn that. Mm -hmm. So I completely understand when I hear people say, well, I've done this now. I want you to do this. Like now it makes sense to me what that means. So like, I just know how that feels. It's like, yeah, we know how we feel when we thrive. We want to tell everybody about it so they can feel the same way. But now that you have a team and you've earned that, you take them with them, let them feel that too. Like everybody wins when your team is winning. So you can only go up here, you know what I mean? So it, it's just been, it's been pretty awesome. Um, I, I don't know. I think Mike is still like, you really did that. Like, you know, and he's been so supportive throughout this whole journey from day one, but uh, I don't know. It's just been, we're not stopping. We're all gas, no brakes. And um I've got double um, commission down. I have one more order to uh, seal triple. So I'm working on that um, a lot this week and I am going to start um, doing some samples as well um, to get more people on Thrive. Nice. So activity breeds activity. That's just like, there's, there's actually science behind that. Motion creates motion. Like what is an object at rest stays at rest. So when you're growing your business and you're hitting a rank and you're celebrating it and you hit 12 K like in Courtney's case. Um, and I still remember when I hit 12 K the day that it was announced. Um, I just remember logging in at lunch and like two people who had never said a word to me signed up as one as a promoter and one as a customer. So again, people see it and that activity and that excitement. Um, you know, there's a lot of naysayers who think you can't do this or, I still have people who think that, um, that, uh, that they don't, I don't know. I don't know what they, honestly, I don't know what they think about my business, but they don't think it's, they don't think it's real. They think it's going to go away, you know, whatever. Um, I, I don't know. You can't argue with stupid, right? So when somebody sees somebody climbing like Courtney just did and like Lacey did, like hitting those 12 Ks, that starts to prove to people that it can be done and that it really is happening. And that's where that momentum keeps coming from. So what I try to remind myself of is, you know, let's say you're far from your next goal, right? What make, find what your real next goal is. So that was why I so badly wanted us as a team to hit hundred K. That's not a, a Lavelle goal by any means, but that's the goal we needed to hit to create that momentum. That's the goal we needed to hit to celebrate. So if you need two customers to get your thrive for free, that's what you need to be celebrating. That's what you need to focus on. If you need two people on your team to get referred to, or you need somebody on your team to hit VIP 800, focus on those things because they will create the next step. And you guys, even there are going to be days where you're going through your list and you're doing your reach outs and it's cricket, 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 cricket. Start focusing on that. How many crickets can I get today? Because it's going to take 10 crickets to get one grasshopper. Hell, I don't know. I just made that up. But you know what I mean? Like you got to focus on these things. So if you're going through your day and somebody tells you no, or somebody's shitty to you and you let that stop you, you let that one comment stop your momentum, that one person who's not ready to order or that one person who wanted something for free or whatever the hell it is they want that you don't have. If you let that stop your momentum, you're going to stop all the momentum. So you just have to keep going. Sam says, just because you hear crickets does not mean that no one is listening. Exactly. I, like Courtney just said, she hit the, the, you know, hits her bonus. And then people are like, Hey, I want to be a promoter now. They've been watching. People are watching. You will hear more than not in this business 
when somebody comes out of the blue to you, they'll say something like, yeah, I saw that post you made, or I saw that video you did or whatever. Like don't ever underestimate the value of your effort because it is definitely being seen. It is definitely being felt and it is the activity that will create the activity. But if you sit back and take a break or you sit back and say, oh, people aren't talking to me. People ghosted me. My promo didn't work. You're, you're going to stop your own activity, right? You can't, you can't do that and succeed. So um, thank you for that, Courtney, because it, it's true. Like, like you said, you have such momentum now. You planted and planted and planted and you did all the work and it turned into something that was, so, you know, that moment to celebrate. But that's what I want to make sure you guys know. Maybe, maybe you're going to hit 2K for the first time. Freaking celebrate that. That is huge. I mean, like the first time somebody hits 4K, that is the first time ever that you and your team, which could only be you and two other people, that's the first time you've ever sold $4,000 in one month. That to me, 4 and 12K are the most purest times in your business because that is when it's you and your people. When you start hitting 40 and 80 and up, there's some people you don't even know. You see reports come in and you're like, well, this girl's killing it. I, do, I hope I know her. But this is the time when it's you and your people doing it. So enjoy that. Celebrate it. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate your team. Um, you know, some of you have hit 4K and it's time to hit 6K. Olivia says, I've never passed 2K on the 8th of the month. Rated run. So, okay. So again, you guys, don't get me started because we only have seven minutes. If you are not doing your rate of run, you are holding yourself back. As a matter of fact, let's just all do it right now. Go into your cloud, pull up today's volume. I'll do it with you because I haven't done mine this tonight. I did it this morning. Sometimes I do it twice a day. Where's my calculator? So you're gonna go into your dashboard, go into your, whoops, my, go into your business snapshot. Look at your current QV, okay? Current QV, that's the number you want. You're going to divide it by eight because today's the eighth of the month. You're going to take that number and you're going to multiply it by 30 because we actually have 30 days this month. That is your rate of run. I think I just missed a chat. They may ghost. Uh, TJ says they may ghost me, but I'm still, I'll still be here. You can't ghost me, <laughs> but I'll be there and you can't ghost me. Yeah. And that's so, and you guys, I, I should shout out TJ while we're talking about this. He is doing a good job of going back into, like, you, you know, you have, you have like uh, dead three-way chats. He's not letting him die. He's going back in there. He's asking him questions. He, he's asking them things about not even Thrive related. He is getting them back in those three-way chats and firing stuff up. And that, my friends, turns into customers eventually. So, okay, so the number that you're looking at now, that is your rate of run. That's where you are projected to end the month if you keep the pace you're on. That's the key word. If you keep the pace you're on, if somebody tells you no and you go in the corner and you put your head down and you slow your pace, that's going to be your problem. You got to keep moving forward. Use that number to motivate you. If you've, if, if you're looking at a number that you've never seen before, freaking run. And if you're looking at a number that you're like, holy crap, that is way lower than I thought. Freaking run. Like this is your business. This is, this is what you're fighting for. So rate of run. I don't, I, who knows what our team would be like if, if we had learned rate of run five years ago. I don't know. I feel like you learn things when you're ready for them. And clearly we weren't ready for them until now, but now we know. So let's go, let's rate to run this. Right. Um, so yeah, I feel good about this. Thank you. But before we get off here, cause we have like two minutes, five minutes. Does anybody want to share something that I've missed? Because your little faces, Zoom keeps moving. It's like the Brady Bunch, but everybody keeps moving around on my screen. And right when I think I've talked to everybody, I look and there's like a face. Like Lisa, you haven't spoken, which is fine because I made you do it last week. Sonia, you have really, if you guys have some, Ricky, if you guys have something you want to share, TJ, and I think you're driving. Oh, Cordell, I'm shouting out Sam for Team Dreamcatchers rate of run, and it is insane. Yes, it is insane. Dreamcatchers are on fire. Like, I, that's not even, that doesn't do it justice. I don't even know, how do we describe it? Like it's more than fire. It's, I don't know, somebody be creative and give me a different word. Because <laughs> I feel like we say it all the time, oh, they're on fire. But like they're legit on fire. Like the house is burning down, people. They're gonna have to build a brand new one in a good way. So, okay, so nobody else has anything. I don't wanna close out if somebody has mega rock stars for sure. 
for sure. And we can all learn from them, you guys. That's why I wanted everybody to get on here tonight and talk. Like this is this is our time to learn. So, okay, well, I, I won't keep you on here just for fun. I will get this uploaded and then downloaded and then I share, I'll share with you. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you, everybody.